you folks. Come on here, come on. At your services. Yes, we're on the graveyard shift. Yeah. Now, the silence and the solitude of the reticent cemetery. Yes, it's about to be shattered by the noise of Kilman going, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, Jesus, fucking Jesus Christ. <sighs> because I'm out with the pooch again. Roxy is here somewhere, but in the park over that way, I don't know what she did, and I don't know what I did, but I made a turn and my knees popped. <sighs> and now, I'm walking with one hell of a fucking limp. And I kid you not, folks, I kid you not, I don't mind a bit of physical grief and bodily harm now and again. A cut, a graze, a bruise, a scar. Hey, you know, hey. To a jobbing superhero like myself, that's not so bad. But structural damage, I really don't like at all. And this, oh, well, there's the dog. She's found a little speck there. And I'm gonna sit myself down. Oh, Jesus. Um, I don't know what I've done. I mean, I know about torn ligaments and pulled muscles and trapped nerves. Oh, I've dealt with all that kind of crap. But um, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Um, my knee's been pretty sore anyway. Um, I did a video and I recounted the waking up after a, a heavy night on the whiskies. And I was saying how you always wake up with it, well, well, I always wake up with bizarre injuries, which, you know, I, I can't explain. Mysterious ailments, cuts, bruises, abrasions, and uh, just sore bits. <laughs> and my knee was definitely sore, and uh, and it's not been pretty good since then. But, you know, I've got on with it. But that little, whatever, the, I turned, a swift turn, and the inside of the knee, ah, oh, Christ. That has, that has just gone. I'm going to show you exactly where I mean. I'm going to show you. Don't worry, don't worry. Nothing, nothing, nothing too risque. But, round about. Oh! Ah! There! Ah, shy! Jesus! <laughs> How's that for acting? Wasn't that acting? That's fucking sore. Ah, oh, God. Cartilage? What is that? Around the knee, around the knee joint. What, what have you got there? Lots of muscle, lots of cartilage. Um, you tear one of those my cartilage is pretty bad um, a muscle sprain or tear or rip they can think about things like that they, they can last for a bit longer than you expect them to and they can seem to recede and then you can obviously you can you can piss it off again by like what I've just done there um, jauntily you know kill the man hey come on oh, yeah, hey, kill the man. oh isn't Roxy gorgeous yes yes of course she is and then Roxy sees two people sitting on little picnic picnic chairs and they're reading books. An older couple, you know. And she's met them before and they do this. They come out in the sun and they sit there and read their books. I like that. I think that's great. And um, she goes out there and to say hello. But of course they're they're reading their books and they've got no idea what's approaching them. And all of a sudden the big husky just goes, Whoa, blah, 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 hello, hello, snout in your face, licky licky. You know, and you've missed you've lost your page in your book, obviously dog drool all over the book and um but i was going to run over to try and stop and say hey folks don't worry Rox roxy's coming over and it's that turn that i did and I, you know i thought i turned mainly from the upper body but apparently well i, I know as soon as i moved that knee just went it went fuck you kill it man Rah! white hot pain and i was like oh fuck and the dog's like 25 yards ahead of me and i can't stop it and, I'm, and, I, and then all of a sudden, this dickhead's going like that. Going, uh, 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 dragging, and they're going like, you all right? And I, Ow! Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh, that's, that's, gonna, that's pissing me off, that now. Um, because it's Friday, and we got paid this week, and it's, um, here's a term you've not heard for a long time. It's a Freedom Friday! I used to, every Friday was a Freedom Friday because I'd be out in town giving it loads, giving it what for, and partying like it's 1999. And, uh, but because of that pesky pandemic thing, that really hasn't happened. And the pubs and clubs are open now, but I've, I've not been back to town, haven't been there at all. 
then again, you know, I, I <laughs> it's not like I've got nowhere to go to. There's plenty of pubs and hostelries and taverns and boozes surrounding the kilted realm. So my plan was, of course, actually with, with the dog that's now completely clapped out there, uh, was to go out and party tonight. I'm just going to keep her with me because she likes the pub. So that, that was the plan. But now with me, uh, I don't know, with me knee, we need shot to buggery and back. I don't know. Such a good idea, do you think? Because I'm only going to make it worse, aren't I? Because you know, you know, you know what I'm like. Even with air, I'm like fucking. I'm making some moves and throwing some shapes and pissing about like a knob shine, trying to leap on tables and benches and all that kind of crap, like reenacting scenes from movies. Oh, go on, kill it, man. Do as that scene from Lethal Weapon again. <laughs> You know, and and I will, but now, uh, Kiltman, can you do the air? Uh, can you do Snake Plissken limping throughout the last half of Escape from New York? Well, yes, I can. I can do that quite convincingly, because my knee is now absolutely roaring with its own internal fire. So anyway, medical experts out there, what what have I done there? What what's that done? And the thing about it is, if you hurt your foot or you hurt your hip. There are ways in which you, you can negotiate how to move around, you, how you can walk, and um, and you can get it quite right. And I've done it myself, you know, many other injuries. And there's a way to position your foot. But the thing with the, your knee is that it doesn't matter what position you put your foot into, how much pressure you put down on your heel, or you walk on the outside of your foot, or the inside, or toe first, or whatever. Whatever you do, if your knee's involved in it, or if your knee's damaged, then your knee's fucked. So no matter how you try to, you know, compensate, you are screwed. Fuck you, I'm getting old, mate. I'm getting fat in the face. You can tell I'm getting fat in the face because I, well, because you can see my face is getting fatter. <laughs> but the reason for that is uh, I've been drinking beer, and beer just resides in my jowly bits. So all of a sudden, like, you know, the that, that ultra, you know, leaf, streamlined loving kilted machine is now looking a bit more pumpkin like i don't know you know it, it's not it's not good being as vain as i am when you're also as ugly as i am being vain's all well and good you know ow oh i, I forgot i actually forgot then when i was talking oh God, fuck that bastard bastard me bastard there's no lump. But there is a very, very... Actually, that's probably, that's probably a good thing. There's actually a sore bit. When you touch that, that sore. So it's clearly... And I think that, that is, that's, that's muscle. It's not like a like fluid on the, on the joint. It's not like a, I don't know, a cancerous growth. It's not like that. I don't, it, it, it is literally just... Um, I've torn something. And it may have been repatching itself... And then that little turn before has just opened it up again. God almighty. Well, there's a nice little video for you. Kiltman and his amazingly busted knee. And I'm also miles from anywhere. So it's not like I can, oh, I can just get the dog back home. No, I've, I've got a lot of walking to do. Oh, shit. <laughs> but, hey, it's a nice day for it. Look, look. I know regular viewers will have seen a lot of this before, you know, this area, because I'm here all the time, like, and it is, it is a genuinely beautiful cemetery. And cemeteries are beautiful, they're the final resting ground, the, the, the Garden of the Dead, which is not the, you know, the, the final George Romero movie, <laughs> uh, but the, it's a good title though, isn't it, The Garden of the Dead, and, uh the lawn of disemboweling. <laughs> but it, they're restful, peaceful places, and the dog loves it because it's a big, wide open green space, and you know, there's tons of trees, and it is, it's just, it's just lovely. And also, I, I back onto this place, Kil the Kilt Mansion is just situated just over that way, and uh, but we do back onto this place, and uh, it is a wonderful location, I have to say. 
I'd like to say that I'm gonna, you know, I'll, I'll get buried here, but I won't because it's full. You're not gonna get buried here. Only people with, with plots. I've got a family grave over there, which I've done. A, I've done a video showing you. It's over there, beyond that that tall Anderson vault there, the big white obelisk there. It's, be, it's just beyond that, and there. Uh, that's my dad's big kilt papa. That's his. Oh God, what is it? Is his uncle? I think. I think it's his uncle, and um, so if that bears my name on that, but uh, but I won't get buried here. I'll get buried on Mars. <laughs> but uh, anyway, folks, some things arrived today at the Kilted Mansion. Some action figures. Ooh, and they're good too. And I've got another couple of videos lined up, you know, beyond this, 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 this interim, this interim preamble uh, of Kilted Man. Ooh, ooh, woe is me. I've broken me knee. <laughs> he, he, he. <laughs> Need some whiskey. Do that'll kill the pain, won't it? Anyway, folks, look, I'm gonna catch you all in a bit, unless I'm hospitalised. <gasps> Say a prayer for me. <laughs> unless I write all knees up. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe not. That possibly isn't a good idea, folks. I have been over Shelby, kilt man. Possibly forevermore with a severe limp. Who knows? But anyway, keep it kilted, keep it Celtic, and I'm going to see you all. <laughs> Ladies, look at the dog. Oh, I thought, oh, she's seen a little buddy over there. So she wants to go and play now. Right. Catch you all later.